be born again. There are some of us, especially the younger ones here, you think you can socialize with your friend and that friend is happy coming to church. Well, I'll go to church, but I am not born again. You think you're going to be where they are. You will not enter into heaven. You will not receive the protection of God. You will not receive the blessing of God if you are not born again. The Bible said you must be born again. Amen. It's simple. Those that are here that are not baptized, you are not you are not nowhere close the, to the door. If any one of you are in here and you are not baptized, I mean with water, you know the baptism where they move you back, backwards, and you are not baptized, you are not walking with God. So I can tell you now, you might, you might listen to what I'm saying and you might say, well, I don't think uh, this pastor got it right. If you are not baptized, because the scripture say, repent and be baptized for the remission of your Amen. sins. Amen. So baptizing is one of the conditions you must go through. You might come to church and you might pray, Oh Lord, uh, uh. the Bible never said to do that. The Bible never said come and stand up in church, make the prayer uh, pray over you. No, the Bible said repent. That means you yourself have to open your mouth and you have to say, Lord, forgive me. Because why? Because we are all in this world running with the bloodline of Adam. I know you all, you all may be lost by me just saying that. You are all in this world running with the bloodline of Adam. You were born and fashioned in sin. You were born and fashioned in sin. Meaning when you enter this world, you enter into a sinful state. Just watch your little child. The child is three years old. The child doesn't understand what mommy said. Mommy said, don't touch the cookie. But five minutes later, he's touching the cookie. Mommy, don't touch the cookie. Because that child has a sinful nature. Yes. So when that child was born just two or three years ago, the nature and the bloodline that child is entering this world is sinful. So you must be born again. Now chapter 8 in, the, in Romans verse let's start at verse 7. Romans chapter 8 verse 7. You going to read for me? Romans chapter 8 verse 7. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. That means you're already hostile to God. Because you haven't been born again yet. Let's go ahead. For it does not submit to God's law. It does not submit. You know when a child is born, as I said, the mother will hit the child. That child does not submit to God yet. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Indeed, it cannot. Indeed, the child cannot. Go ahead, go ahead, keep reading. Those who are in the flesh cannot be those people that are in the flesh that means you haven't been born you haven't been born yet you are still in the flesh so you are still in the fleshy condition you are not under the spiritual condition yet you are still in the fleshy condition so you cannot follow God when you are in that fleshy condition go ahead you however are not in the flesh but in the spirit go, read that again You, however, are not in the flesh, but what? Okay, keep reading. Anyone that 
does not is not in the spirit does not have the spirit is not of God you understand that so you must be born of the spirit that's why the Bible say he that is born of the spirit is of God but he that is of he that is born of the flesh is of the world that's why the Bible say you must be born again Jesus said when I when Jesus came he said I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly because Jesus have to get you to be born Jesus was speaking with Nicodemus you remember when when Nicodemus had a conversation with Jesus and and Nicodemus is talking to Jesus and Jesus said well how can you understand me you are of this world Amen. but he said Nick you must be born again and Nicodemus think he was trying to tell him that he has to go back into his mother's womb uh, yeah. so Nicodemus is saying Lord well, how does that happen why do I have to be born again I am already born a man but it's because Jesus is trying to tell him you are born of the flesh you are running of Adam bloodline. Hallelujah. But when you are born again, you are now running of blood of the spirit. Amen. It's two birth. It's two birth. Jesus is the firstborn of everything. He was born because God wanted him. You know, some of you all that say that that Jesus, the man, was God, that's wrong. God wasn't ever a man. Amen. I'm not hearing nobody saying amen. amen. God wasn't never a man. God had never been a man. Any of you all teaching in the Bible that teach you that God was a man, God had never been a man. God was in Christ Jesus reconciling the world back unto himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God has never been a man. All through the Bible, God has always hidden himself. That's why Moses only talked to him as a bush. That's why he showed up as a whirlwind. He was a flaming thing to Moses. But God has never been a man. But God was in that man reconciling the world back to him. Amen. You want to keep reading? So, start again. But if Christ is in you, but if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin. Although your body is dead because of sin, the spirit of life because the spirit is life because of righteousness. The spirit, the spirit is life because of righteousness. So you must be born of the spirit. If you are of the flesh, you haven't been born again. The scripture said in um, Acts chapter two thirty-eight, he said, "Repent." 